everybody, Raju Donuts on and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 10 cool tricks you can do on your Mac. For the first trick, it's the terminal say command. Did you know that you could make your terminal speak? If you simply go up to the spotlight search and type in terminal, you open up your terminal. Now, if you type in say, and then space pretty much anything, and then hit enter, Hello. it will speak for you. You can do this with a lot of things, like let's say a sentence. So I wrote, hello, my name is the terminal, and if I press enter, Hello, my name is the terminal. Pretty cool. On to the next trick. <laughs> Now, for this next trick, you probably, most of you already know this, but if every time you've had to calculate something and you've gone up and gone to the calculator, well, you don't actually have to do that. There's a much faster way to do it. All you have to do is go into Spotlight Search, and you can type in anything, like 2 times 2, and it'll show you the answer. 5 plus, and it'll give you the answer. Pretty cool. On to the next trick. Now, for trick number three, I'll show you how to change the icon of a folder. For this, you'll need an icon or any picture, uh, probably as a PNG file, which means it has a transparent background uh, to use for your icon. So, for example, right here, I have a folder called YouTube Materials. Now, I would like this folder to be like a YouTube theme folder. So I found this picture with a YouTube kind of theme folder. It has a transparent background. So now I'm going to press Command A to select the picture. And I'm going to do Command Copy to copy the picture. Now I can close this. Now here's my folder. I will select the folder, right click the folder, and press Get Info. Then I will click up here and press Command V to paste the picture. Now I will close it. Now sometimes this happens where it doesn't change. Now to, ch to fix this you have to kind of update it. So click on it, right click it, and duplicate it. Now you can see when it's done duplicating this new folder has the icon. Now you can simply delete the old folder by pressing command delete or dragging it into the trash and then name this your original name. Now you've got your own custom icon. Pretty cool, right? And you can do this with any file ev anywhere. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. It can be in Finder too. You can go to Applications. You can re-icon any of your applications. Now for trick number four. For this trick, I'm going to show you slow motion actions. So, for example, when you minimize a window, normally it goes quite quickly, you'll see. But if I hold down shift and press minimize, it'll go in slow motion. This also works for opening it again. It also works for the launch pad. Hold it shift and press on the launch pad and it'll slowly and it also works for the several window preview. It's a pretty useless but pretty cool trick. Now for trick number five. Have you ever wanted to zoom in on a certain part of your screen? Well, wait no more. Simply go up to the Apple, go to System Preferences, go to Accessibility, Go to Zoom and turn on Use Keyboard Shortcuts to Zoom and Use Scroll Gestures to Zoom and then set, set the command to Command. Then you can either turn on Smooth Images or turn it off. Now when you press down, hold down Command and scroll up, you'll zoom in on the area of your screen where your mouse is located. Now Smooth Images is so right now when I zoom in 
it's pixelated. If I turn on smooth images, it will smoothen out the image when I zoom in. I personally prefer it without. Now, there are two zoom styles you can choose between. Full screen and picture in picture. Full screen is where it zooms in the whole screen. Picture in picture is where it zooms in the part of the screen where you're zooming in. So, for example, here. Hmm? Now, for trick number six. Now, have you ever wanted to adjust your volume more precisely? Probably not, but I'm going to teach you a trick anyways. If you hold down Shift and Alt while you're changing the volume buttons, you can change it at very small bits at a time. This is probably very useless, but it's a pretty fun trick. Now for trick number seven. While you've been typing, have you ever wanted to be able to have the same emojis on your computer as on your phone? Well, search no more. All you have to do is simply hold down Control, Command, and Space, and you'll get up the, con uh, the emoji keyboard on your computer, and you can type any emoji you want. And this works for most platforms. Warning, this does not work in any Google Drive documents. Now, for trick number eight. Now, have you ever wanted to record the screen of your iPhone or iPad? Well, search no more. All you have to do is get your charging cable, plug in one end into the iPhone slash iPad, and plug the other end into the US cable of the Mac, USB cable of the Mac. Now, all you have to do is on your Mac, go to QuickTime Player, go up, press File, New Movie Recording, then normally it would be on FaceTime HD Camera. Now, all you have to do is press the drop down menu and press on the iPhone slash iPad, and you should get this. Now, this will live show anything you do on your phone or iPad and put it up there. Now you can record your screen by simply pressing the button and then you can go play games or go on the app store and look at different apps and make your own tutorials on your phone and then when you're done you press stop and you have a video. Now for trick number nine. The terminal theme change. Have you ever wanted to change your terminal theme to a more hacker kind of look? Well, look no more. Simply go up to the spotlight search, type in terminal, enter, go to the terminal up at the top, press preferences, and here you have some different themes you can choose from. Now the closest hacker theme is homebrew, which you double click on the picture and you get this terminal up. Now to set it as your default, select that theme and press default. Then that would, that's what it'll be for every time you open up your terminal. Now you may think, why don't you use the hacker one? Well, this is one I've designed myself. If you want to design your own one, go click on the plus, and then you can change the background, the text font, and all the other necessary things for your own terminal theme. I hope you found this helpful, and on to the last trick. Now, for this last trick, it's not really a trick, it's more of a really cool thing. If you go up to your terminal and you type in telnettowel.blinkinglights.nl and press enter, it will connect to an IP and there will be a short amount of text for just a bit. And then after just a little bit, it will start playing the star it will start playing Star Wars but in text the full movie episode 5 a new hope in text this is amazing some people made this this is like well mind blowing i don't even understand why so if you have the patience to watch this i really recommend you do it's amazing it's amazing well, that was 10 cool tricks for your Mac. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.